Welcome to Millennium Squad. What a fantastic reason to be here this afternoon. We are here to celebrate the phenomenal success of our Leeds Paralympic athletes. We're here today to welcome home some very special people. Four people who live in the Yorkshire area and train in Leeds, who form part of Britain's greatest ever Paralympic team. Every single one of them did themselves and our city and our country proud. Leeds, are you ready to welcome home your Paralympic athletes? Please welcome to the stage, City of Leeds swimmer and three-time 2012 Paralympic medalist, Claire Cashmore. <laughs> Two silvers, one bronze. That's just showing off, surely. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's been amazing. This has been the best games I've ever had, so I'm really, really happy with the results. What does, what does this feel like for you? Oh, it's incredible. You know, I spent the last four years here, so for you guys to come out and support me is fantastic, and I really want to say thank you very much for all your support. It's been incredible. <laughs> Just all the hard training, can I do it for my four years? But it makes it all worthwhile when you're standing on that medal podium. And I've got all that corner behind you. I literally can't put it into words. The last 10 days have been the most amazing 10 days, isn't it? Uh, fantastic to be back. To be back and to be you know, surrounded by such a supportive crowd is fantastic. What's been the best part of the whole experience for you uh, as a whole, everything that's gone over the, over the last few weeks? The crowd. The crowd has been the thing that's kept me going, even when I was in pain on that final length coming back. For the last 10 days has been one of my best 10 days of my life, so thank you very much. And I wouldn't have been standing here today if it wasn't for all the support I've had from City Leeds, so thank you very much. Two silvers, one bronze, an incredible achievement. Thank you so much for everybody. Also here today, coming back to Leeds, fourth place powerlifter, Ali Jawad. Well, I thought Beijing was pretty good, but this just it doesn't even compare. So it was incredible. I, um, I couldn't believe how many people showed up, and it was just a packed crowd, and everyone cheering my name. It was great. Ali, everybody. I think I would do it. I mean, I mean, it's just totally it's just incredible. Mixed road race gold medalist and time trial bronze medalist, David Stone. Come on then, David, show, show it off to everyone. The gold, the gold medal. I am never going to win a gold medal at the Paralympics, the Olympics, anything successful like that. What's it like, that moment, when you win a gold medal? This isn't the first time you've done it, but what's it like? Uh, it's an incredible feeling, the pressure, longer, hard work going into the game. And then when you cross the line in front of the home crowd, it was the most amazing feeling I've ever had. You mentioned about Yorkshire. There was a, a London homecoming, of course. This is your Leeds homecoming. How, how does this feel in comparison? This is much more impressive. <laughs> The volunteers made the games, they, they refused me as it was infectious. Uh, just fantastic to be around them. Thank you so much for their support. And for anyone who might have been inspired by your success uh, and, and would want to get involved, what, what's your message to them? To just enjoy it really, especially if you're young. There's lots of time to get all serious about it. 
where to start off with. You just have to love this ball. Fantastic stuff. Uh, gold and bronze. Look at that gold medal there, shimmering in the lead sunshine today. Let's hear it again for David Stone, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ross Bibby, I'm the Disability Sports Officer for Leeds. Yeah, it's great, it's a fantastic celebration for the Leeds-based uh, Paralympians coming home with, with some of them with medals. It's been, it's been a fantastic couple of weeks at the Paralympics and it's great to really celebrate them coming, in, coming home now. So where do we go from here? Uh, onwards and upwards really, I guess there's, uh, for the Paralympians there's Rio in four years time but I mean in the immediate future they've got other events and, and competitions to concentrate on in the build up to those games and for us hopefully it'll inspire people in Leeds, young, old, disabled, non-disabled people to take part in any sport that they want to do. It's amazing! What they do is amazing. And of course 100 and 200 metres sprint double gold medalist Hannah Cockroft! <laughs> Can you believe it? You're back two golds. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I, just, I was just watching it up there, actually. I've just been winning my first one and I haven't seen it yet, so... I didn't know that. Well, I do, but then it's kind of like you're watching it when you're on TV, so you're kind of concentrating on what's happening next, and... Uh, well, I did all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Not, not bad, not bad. The two golds around your neck there. Uh, you're studying at Leeds Met this year. Things are never going to be the same for you now, surely? Yeah, I've had that warning that uh, I'm never going to be able to go shopping again in peace, but, uh, you know, I guess it's a sacrifice you've got to make to have uh, some nice bling, so... <laughs> the, bl the bling is impressive up here on the, on the stage. Uh, you have four world records as well. Hurricane Hannah, um, well, that's quite a, it's quite a nickname you've got there. Yeah, you know, I think when you've got a nickname off the media, uh, you know, I'm, I'm joining Oscar, the Blade Runner, and David Weir, the Weirwolf, so I think you kind of are someone when you've got a nickname. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely someone. <laughs> How do you feel to be back? I'm happy to be home, you know. Um, it's been nice to be away, but it's nice to come back to everyone who's been on the whole four years with me, so yeah, hopefully see all my family and my friends today. It'll be fantastic. And where's next to you? Uh, next, back on the track on Monday, training again, and then, uh, well, I don't know, season's finished now, so just see what the next year brings. You're making time to enjoy things now. Trying to be excited. <laughs> it's been so busy since I finished, and uh, yeah, I kind of like, I want to celebrate, but there hasn't been time yet. But we'll see, time will come, and it'll be alright. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Um, you obviously down at Leeds City Athletics Club. If there's anyone here who wants to get involved, how will they go about doing that? Uh, I guess, well, the way I did it, I just turned up and had a go. Um, I have no idea how you do it. I guess, yeah, just go down on a Thursday night. Um, I think they train like six to eight or something and, and go and have a run. I, I know the obvious answer to this might be winning the medals, but uh, aside from that, obviously there was those medal winning moments. What's been the best part of the whole experience? For you. I think the best part was having my best friend Melissa Nichols on the start line of the 200 metre final with me and she came on the victory lap. That was amazing to have her there because everyone was just going mental for us, you know, 80,000 people cheering for two little GB girls. It's, it's wicked. And just show off those medals once more to everyone here. Look at, look at these. <laughs> now they're heavy. They're heavy to have around your neck. They are. Getting a bad, bad back here. <laughs> Well, uh, hopefully that'll be the least of your worries. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Let's hear it again for Hannah Cockroft, everybody. Success, and we will be having some photos taken, so please do not go anyway. But first, let's hear it for Claire Cashmore, Ali Jawad, David Stone, and Hannah Cockroft, everybody. And if we could, as a whole city, Give them three cheers. Hip hip. Hip hip. Yeah.